Hi, welcome to another episode of Healthy You. I'm Elisa Weathers, your host, and today our guests, we have two sisters, Sonia and Anna, and they will be helping us to make a delicious lentil vegetable soup. So, uh, Sonia, you mm -hmm. are vegan, correct? Yes, I All am. All right, and mm -hmm. how long have you been vegan? I have been vegan for seven years now. Seven years, okay. <clears throat> and what inspired you to become vegan initially? So I first watched the movie Forks Over Knives, and then um, after that I, I got a book and there was a 30-day challenge in it, okay. and after the 30-day challenge I just never went back. That's was, awesome. Mm -hmm. And Anna, are you vegan? Yes, I am. Okay. Uh, I went vegan about four years ago. It took me a little longer to convert. Um, it was easy for me to give up um, the meat and um, the milk. It just was the cheese that was the issue. I hear that issue. a lot. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so, so now you have um, completely yes, vegan. for four years. For mm -hmm. four years, mm -hmm. and uh, did she inspire you to become vegan? Yes, she did. <laughs> yes, she did. And um, I did a lot of uh, reading on, on my own as well. And, um, okay. And now I just, um, it's just natural and it feels good. Uh, even went on a vegan cruise um, last oh, year. Wow. So where did yeah. you guys go? Um, it was a trip that, it was on Holland America. It was awesome. That's the food great. was delicious. We had a vegan section um, to ourselves. It was through a, um, like a travel company. And um, we went to Mexico and we hit, I think like three different ports, um, uh, Cabo San Lucas. That's so cool. Uh, so it was really, uh, really awesome. I can't remember all the other ports right now. <laughs> Mazatlan and uh, Puerto Vallarta. It was like awesome. the love boat. <laughs> so. Yeah. <laughs> all right, so let's get started with our meal for today. Uh, we have the heat set up uh, medium heat. Medium. Yeah. And so what will we start with? Okay, oh, we may want to turn it down a little. Sure. Um, okay, so first what we put in the pot are our chopped onions. So we would use one full onion and chop okay. it, and then um, two garlic cloves here, okay, which are nice and minced. Okay. And then Anna and I are going to cut the carrots and the celery that we'll put all together. So all four of those ingredients go in the pot at the those same time. Those will go in first, okay. Yes. Okay. And as you can see, uh, just Nice chops, nothing fancy, but relatively thin to yeah, make and it easier for them to cook, right? Exactly, uh, so that they cook quicker. And obviously chopping with a knife, you'll have a little bit of some different sizes in there, which sure. will make it look more homemade. But you know, if you're either in a hurry or um, you want your dish to be completely symmetrical, <laughs> then, <Yeah>. you can, <laughs> then you can use a food processor. Sure, okay. <laughs> Uh, which will also chop or cut down on your time. Okay, so we have right. this set to medium heat. Um, what should we put in first? So first we'll add some vegetable broth and um, I kind of just eye it, but okay. the, the recipe says half a cup. Okay. Um, and so that's just so that your, whoop, your onion and your garlic won't stick. Just turn that down. Yeah, we're, <laughs> <laughs> we're getting a nice little sizzle. That's been on for a while. <laughs> Okay, so. and what's nice with the, um, the vegetable broth is that, um, just move that there, is that if you need to add some more, it's, you know, it's a healthier way to cook your vegetables rather than putting, adding a lot of fat through uh, oil. And if you don't have vegetable broth at home, you could easily, if you have some version of vegetable bouillon, uh, measure that with uh, water and make your own broth. Exactly. And let me just get a knife here. We'll drop these in. All right. Excuse me. Okay. Right. And so now we're just putting the celery and the carrots in along with the onions and garlic. And then and you just here. yeah, and you just cook until they're soft. I'm gonna go ahead and stir. Yes, okay. please. So that's just a few minutes, maybe three or four minutes that we'll let them cook. Okay. And once once that time is up, once they're tender, then we'll add our spices. It looks like we might need a little bit a little more, more broth. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. Okay, there we go. 
some more juice in there. And the onions and garlic, you can already smell it. It smells great. Turn this yeah, wait till we add the spices. It becomes very aromatic. Oh. It's great because it's curry I'm that we're going to put wait. in there. All right. So speaking of uh, measurements, <laughs> let's cover the measurements that we have in the recipe today. So it's going to be one onion chopped, two cloves of garlic minced, like we said, uh, two carrots sliced, two stalks of celery chopped, one tablespoon curry powder, uh, four and a half cups of vegetable broth, and that's going to be divided between the first part and we'll add some more later. One cup of brown lentils rinsed, one cup of scallions, and that's chopped, and one teaspoon lemon juice, one tablespoon nutritional yeast, one half, I'm sorry, one quarter teaspoon black pepper, quarter teaspoon red pepper flakes, and sea salt to taste. So. Uh, now we have the onions, garlic, celery, and carrots. It's cooking very nicely. Mm -hmm. uh, so what do we have next? So next we'll add our curry, one tablespoon of curry powder. So let's just get the measuring spoon here. And we'll do it over. All right. Thank you. Let's see. So here it is. Okay. There's our right. tablespoon of curry powder. And I'll stir this in, fold it into the vegetables that we have here. Okay, and then we just stir that and we, okay. we let that cook for one minute. Sure. So okay. that the vegetables absorb all of the, the tasty seasoning that we just put in there now. All right. Get it all nice and coated. You can see the color starting to change and the vegetables are absorbing the curry color. Nice, beautiful color. Yeah. It already had a nice color with the celeries and the, and the celery and the carrots, but uh, now you can see it transforming. Yeah, it's turning that nice golden color. And then once we put the, um, we can actually start chopping these scallions. Sure. Take some. Because what's nice about this recipe is that it's very quick. Once everything is chopped, it's, you basically just throw it all in the pot. It's mostly prep. Right. So I don't know about you guys, but at my home, we have <clears throat> um, taken the stalks of the green onion that we've chopped up, or uh -huh. that we've already used. Okay. And it's so simple to regrow these at home, even if you don't have oh. a green thumb. Uh huh. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, all you need to do is put the the bottom mm -hmm. uh, root into uh -huh. a little cup of water. I put it in a clear cup just so it can get more sunlight. Uh -huh. You don't have to add anything else. It's really just water and sunlight. And um, Let's just put these in it, it grows here. like a weed. Really? Yeah, so we okay. don't even buy green onion anymore. We oh, just, cool. Um, it, we actually can't even what? keep up with the amount that grows from just two little stalks. So, food for thought. Yeah, that's awesome no to pun know. Intended. Thank you. Thank you. So, now we're just, they're ran all around the cutting board. So, let me just collect <laughs> them so that we can put them all, all right. in here. Okay, so first we'll add our scallions. And this is one cup of scallions. One cup, okay. Oh, green onions. Or green scallions, green, green onions. onions. <laughs> they're the same, same thing. And then we'll put in uh, one cup of lentils here. All right. Okay. And these have been rinsed. And then we'll add. For, well, first we'll add the broth, so that way we have a little more. And this will be the rest of the broth in the rest the measurement. Yeah. Okay. Measure. Yeah, so this will be four cups because okay. we're supposed to use the half a cup for the prep. Sure. Okay. Okay, so there's one. one. There is two. Beautiful. Yeah, the smell is just fantastic. All right. There perfect. we go. See? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so there's our four cups. All right, so four and a half cups total of broth. We have 
carrots, celery, onion, garlic in the beginning, and now the curry powder and the lentils have been added. And okay. now we will add our nutritional yeast. Okay, and how much is this again? So this is a tablespoon okay, of nutritional tablespoon. yeast. So you just dump that in, and then we will cut our lemon here to get our teaspoon. And stirring it just like this is fine? It's perfect. Okay, yes. nothing uh -huh. fancy. No, not at all, because it's just a soup, so you just want to put it all together and make sure it all gets moist. And, and how right. much will this, how many people will this typically feed? Well, if you're in our family, it feeds <laughs> two. <laughs> but sure. it's, uh, it's four, four bowls. Four yep, I'm the yeah, same way, serving. no judgment yeah, here. So. <laughs> So, all right, so this is how I normally do my lemon. Okay. Um, and also, if you, you know, if you're not big on keeping lemon, fresh lemon at the house, then you can get a bottle of lemon juice yeah, and just okay. measure it out. Oops, we got that. And this okay, is so one there. teaspoon. Thank you, one mm -hmm. teaspoon of lemon juice. All right. And then we'll add our red pepper flakes. So it's, this is actually a quarter of a teaspoon that we're supposed to add. Unless you like it spicy, okay. then you know, you can obviously be a little sure. more liberal with it. So that looks like about a quarter. Sure, yep. Okay. Just a Wait, little we dash. Got some that were stuck in there because it was wet. Okay, there we are. All right, give it a little zing. And then, it's, it's the other way he actually had to, oh. yeah. <laughs> so here, let's go over the, the okay. yeah. Okay, we're gonna make a family effort here to <laughs> That's probably measure. more than. Yeah, that's probably good. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah, okay. That's one, there we are. About one teaspoon, is that It's, it's also a quarter of a teaspoon, yeah. Okay. But again, if you wanna make it spicy, then just add a little more. And then we'll put the salt at the end. Mm -hmm. At the very end. At the very end, taste. after okay. it's cooked. Um, so now, we bring it up to a boil, so right. we'll turn it on high. There we go. And then once we see it bubbling nicely. Um, Do we need to continue to stir or it can sit? Um, while it, we're waiting for it to boil, we don't have to stir anymore. Okay. But then once it boils um, for here. just you know a couple of rounds of bubbles, then okay. um, we'll turn it down to low heat. We'll stir it again and then we'll put our lid on it and then um, we leave it we, for 45 minutes. And you know, stirring occasionally, it doesn't have to be a, Frequent. Constant. Yeah, okay. yeah, exactly. And can you make this in the crock pot? You sure can make okay. it in a crock pot. What would be um, the time frame around cooking in a crock pot? So um, for the crock pot, I, I haven't done it in the crock pot, but I know okay. that um, that if you have all of the water that's warm, then you, it's only like one to two hours okay. that it would have to to cook, okay. but if you put everything into the crock pot and you use cold water, okay. then it's gonna probably take about five to six hours okay. to really get the lentils cooked and everything nice and warm for you. Yeah, crock pot Is soups it, are amazing. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely, exactly. absolutely. Nice quick way to, you know, make a hearty meal. And I mean, especially with all those colors, it's just, I love this dish, yeah. Yeah, sometimes I like making things in the crock pot <clears throat> because it makes the whole house smell right. <laughs> delicious <Absolutely. laughs> for a long amount of time. So now we're gonna take a quick break for a public service announcement and wait for this delicious lentil soup to finish cooking and we will be right back. For years, scientists have explored remote corners of the earth, searching for exotic substances that might help prevent cancer. At last, man has discovered a secret place where powerful remedies can actually be found. Medical research shows that a vegetarian diet rich in fruits, vegetables, and whole grains can help prevent many types of cancer. Wherever you live, cancer prevention is as close as your grocery store. To learn more, call 866-906-WELL. We're back on Healthy You. I'm Elisa Weathers, your host, and we are with Sonia and Anna making a delicious lentil soup. And this has been on low for about 45 minutes, mm -hmm. and uh, everything is smelling delicious. It is, I'm just ready to eat it. All right. <laughs> <laughs> but before we start eating, um, let's talk about uh, your journey becoming vegan. Mm -hmm. So can you tell us how your life has changed, you know, from before when you weren't vegan to now that you are vegan, how has your life changed? Well, I have to say that um, 
definitely initially in, in the transition, I felt much more energetic and, um, you know, was was really just, you know, facing life, I think, in a much more positive, mm -hmm. uh, with a po much more positive outlook. Okay. And um, since then, you know, you when you eat this way, you can eat much more than what than what you could if you were eating meat and so you don't feel the, like bad for how much you eat because uh -huh. you know that you're just fueling your <laughs> yes, body to true. to go Less further yeah absolutely I so <laughs> so uh, yeah i just really really enjoy it and i think i think i don't know it's really had a positive impact on my life and i just great. love sharing this message how about you anna well, for me, um, it's interesting because um, I wasn't really big on eating vegetables in the past at all. Uh, at all. <laughs> and so when I first went vegan, um, I joined a CSA, uh, you know, community supported agriculture, and okay. got um, all kinds of vegetables. I did a whole summer, and like I made myself eat all the different types of vegetables, and sometimes I didn't even know what they were. So um, I had to do a lot of Googling and doing a, uh, did a lot of trying to figure out like good recipes so that I would uh, make the right kinds of foods. So, and sort of opened up my eyes to a lot of things that you know I didn't have any idea what they were in the past. So I think I'm definitely eating a lot healthier, but you have to really, um, or at least for me, because I have a very busy, um, I have a long commute and long okay, work day, yeah. and I, I have a dog to take care of. So it's I feel like I'm always trying to eat things that are uh, more processed. Uh -huh. So I have to make myself go back and then do prepping on the weekends and things like that. It makes where such a difference. It does. Yeah, yeah. And where I'll eat week. eat really, you know, make sure that I'm actually eating really yeah. eating vegetables and eating like the rainbow and things like that so yeah. i think that right. it makes a big difference so. and uh earlier before the show we were speaking you've gotten to be more involved in the vegan community um yes i've been doing um going on to meet up and finding uh, vsdc has um a, a group that goes out to eat at restaurants and they have a singles group and um, things like that so i've been trying to you know, meet other people who yeah. believe in the same type of lifestyle. Um, so that's been really good. And now even on Facebook, I've found um, like DC vegans, and I think there's a Northern, um, Northern Virginia vegan group, um, Vegans United. There's a whole bunch of different groups. How that, did you find those groups on Facebook? Did you just search for them or um, did you know somebody who actually, invited you? Actually, uh, when I went on my vegan cruise, one of, um, oh. yeah, one of the uh, people that I met on the cruise uh, recommended to go on to on one of the groups and then it started, you know, like, why don't you join this group yeah. and so all the other suggested groups. And then I started to look where my other friends that were vegan, what other groups were they involved in? So um, just by searching and things like that. So I found um, a, a, a group of different things. And um, so now I find a lot of activities that where I go and I support some of the local vegan uh, act well not activists but the ve vegan groups that do different things and we'll go and support well, them. Well it keeps it exciting right. and Definitely. helps bring more people together. <laughs> right so, exactly. Yeah, that's awesome. All right so I'm ready to eat this. I don't know about you guys. I'm but, always ready. Uh, to eat. <laughs> <laughs> all right so let's serve this here and if you don't mind passing me a bowl. All right sure. here you go. Beautiful. I'm going to do a couple scoops. Beautiful. Oh, they're very nice. All Just right. notice all the beautiful colors yes. that you have here. So we have a majority of the rainbow oh, already, nice already in one bowl. Sure. <laughs> there you go. Thank you. And as I mentioned earlier, if you want to put the salt in afterwards, um, it you know varies. Everybody has a little bit of a different mm -hmm. taste for salt. Some really enjoy, and others don't. So we wait till the end, and then everyone can you know season it just as they'd like. Thank you. Are, okay. are you the type of person that enjoys salty food? I not. I like probably middle middle ground. Okay. Yeah, I, I definitely like still a little bit of salt in my food. Um, and what we like to use is. Uh, the pink Himalayan sea salt. Okay. So um, there are some minerals and things in it that that you get, which aren't really in our ground anymore. So it's nice to be able yeah. to add it. 
I am guilty of <laughs> being a salt lover. Uh -oh. <laughs> so I need to learn how to be like control that. Four or five turns. Of yeah. <laughs> There you go. All right, wonderful. That's great. I'm sorry about that. Turn that the other way. This will go ahead. Oh, thank there you. There we go. Okay. Beautiful. So we are getting ready to eat this lentil soup now. And I think the only thing we have left to do is add some salt, right? If you want, yes, right. absolutely. I'm going to add a little bit of salt if okay. you don't mind. No, and please do. Just, just pull that off. Yeah. All right. That's good for me. All Anybody right. else? I sure will. I'm just going to start in here. Okay. You? Yes, sure. Okay. Thanks. Okay, let's dig in. All right. Okay. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. So good. You like it? Excellent. Very, very good. Thank and you. And perfect for wintertime. Soup mm -hmm. is always a good idea. And it's sometimes hard to get creative, you know, you get used to eating one type of soup, but this is a really good recipe mm -hmm. to incorporate into your uh, into your meals. And you said you've been cooking this for a long time, right? Oh, absolutely. For six out of the seven years that I've been vegan. And what's it's interesting... obviously a great staple. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Um, lentils are very big in the Italian culture, but I think more up north, and since our family's from the southern part, we never really oh, right. ate, ate mm -hmm. lentils. So now that yeah, now that we're vegan, I find myself eating much more the the lentils. I eat a so. lot too. Yeah. Um, okay, so let's talk a little bit more about your book. Mm -hmm. So I'd love for you guys to come back Definitely. whenever it's completed. Right. Okay. So what we're doing now is the first. First book's going for the, for the nephew uh, for uh -huh. his wedding gift. Hopefully he's not watching this. <laughs> <laughs> Surprise! And, and then um, we're going to work out the measurements of, of the food and then make some of the things that are that are not vegan vegan. We're going to try to see if we can uh, create create them as vegan. Um, and then we'll definitely come back with with the book and um, you know share it with everyone that wants one. Yeah, so. I think it's so awesome. It's a family effort mm -hmm. with family recipes, turning it into vegan, and you know just everybody pitching in. And mm -hmm. I, I know it's going to be amazing. Thank you. Well, thank you. Mm -hmm. thank We're you. excited. All right, so <laughs> I'm just going to continue eating this. I don't know about you guys. Yeah, that's <laughs> wonderful. Thank you. Thank you so much for joining us today on Healthy You. And thank you again to Sonia and Anna for helping us make this delicious lentil soup and teaching us all that you have. For more delicious recipes, go to www.healthyutvshow.com. And you can also find us on Facebook and YouTube. Thanks again, guys. Thanks thank for you. having us. Thanks for having yeah. us. Yes, it was we, wonderful. We enjoyed it. Thank you. No problem. Thanks for coming. Bon appétit. Bon appétit. Mm -hmm.